space. Today's mission marks the second flight for both of those fairing halves, and we will be attempting to recover them from the water once they fall back to Earth. We're currently in the first of two MVAC burns planned for today. The first burn should last until T plus eight minutes and 30 seconds, so another four minutes on that burn. The next milestone will be the first stage booster's entry burn. As I mentioned before, the first stage is performing three maneuvers today. This entry burn is designed to slow the booster down before it hits the dense part of the Earth's atmosphere. Without this burn, relying on the atmosphere alone to slow down Falcon 9 would put unnecessary strain Vehicle on the rocket. Terminal trajectory. All right, there we heard a call out that we have nominal trajectory. As I mentioned earlier, Transporter 5 is our fifth dedicated SmallSat rideshare program mission and our 22nd mission of 2022. SpaceX is targeting at least three dedicated rideshare flights to sun-synchronous orbit per year, and we also offer opportunities for a ride to orbit on our Starlink missions, which launch every couple of weeks. Small sats can ride to space on SpaceX's Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Starship in the not-too-distant future. We're about one minute away from that entry burn. As you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, we have deployed the grid fins. Falcon 9 has four of those hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage. And it's using nothing but those grid fins for steering as it makes its return to Earth. That is at least until we light the center engine for landing. You also might notice some white puffs here and there. Uh, those are cold nitrogen gas bursts, which help with attitude control. To put deceleration into perspective, around 60 seconds away from landing, the first stage is moving about 2,000 miles per hour. Then, in less than a minute, we rapidly reduce the speed in order to prepare for landing. The first stage slows down to about 90 miles per hour when stage the landing two, legs is saved. Uh, slows down to about 90 miles per hour when the landing legs deploy. Stage one entry burn startup. All right, there we heard the call out that the entry burn has begun. You can see that on the left-hand side of your screen. Again, this is the second of two maneuvers performed by the first stage today for, yeah, its, for its return to LZ-1. As I mentioned before, um, we are attempting to recover this, and it will be the eighth time um, for this booster. One entry burn shut down. And we're also targeting to land at landing zone one. First stage has just one more burn left, the landing burn, and that begins just before touchdown and provides the booster with a soft descent right before Stage landing. one, FTS is saved. Once we get through the clouds, you should have a pretty clear view of the Space Coast with LZ-1, which is our targeted destination. Falcon 9 has four landing legs made of carbon fiber with aluminum Start honeycomb. Terminal guidance. They are placed Stage one transonic. They're placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket and they deploy just prior to landing, as we'll see momentarily. Stage one landing burn. All right, you can see that that landing burn has begun. Just before Falcon 9 lands, we're expecting the shutdown of the MVAC second stage. Uh, just after landing, one of our 59 spacecraft will not, that will not separate from the vehicle will activate, and you should hear that call out over the nets. Let's listen in for these activities happening in quick sequential order. Stage one landing like four. And back shut down. Stage one landing at Outpost Mars 701, it's through activation confirmed. Now we're going to all right, as you just heard, we had nominal orbit insertion, so we've got a good orbit. Following that second engine cutoff, 
And as you saw on your screen, another successful landing for Falcon 9, uh, bringing our total successful F9 first stage landings to 115. As you could also tell by the cheers behind me, it never gets old here. <laughs> we also heard the activation for one of our payloads that will not be deploying from the spacecraft. Um, with that, we're going to take a short break and come back in about 45 minutes for the relight of our second stage, followed shortly thereafter by the first 26 scheduled deployments. Stick around and we'll see you soon.